Tariq Azim Sobat Al Haymin Jamiat. We are asking our Shaykh to support us, to send us something for us to understand our faith, for us to protect our faith in these days. It is constantly under attack. Constantly. Our faith is under attack. I'm not talking about Oh, non-Muslims attacking Muslims, Wahhabis, no, I'm talking about your individual faith. Leave the world. The world is our enemy. Of course the world is going to attack. What do you expect your enemy to do? Be friends with you. If your enemy become friends with you, that's the time you have to worry. Of course it's going to attack. Your enemy, this dunya in the ahir of the ahir zaman, in the time of Jabavira, is not going to attack, it will attack. Leave that. We're saying what you are doing to protect your faith. What are you doing to protect your faith? So you ask me a question, the heart. Because I said before, I gave an in-house sohbet for the murids. Uh, it's not for everyone concerning us. Yes, there are different sohbets for different people. Of course there are. People forget about that too. There are different ayats for different people, for different situations. There are different hadiths for different situations, different people. You cannot apply the hadith for a woman to a man. You cannot apply the ayats that is for unbelievers to the believers. So you're asking me now, how the heart, how do you know if the heart is going to feel alive? And I ask you a very simple question back. Have you ever felt your heart to be alive? Yeah, at least well, you are answering sincerely. You said yes, I felt it before. When I have passion, passion for something good or passion for something that is bad? You say correct. Leave something that is emotion. Let's talk about passion first. How are you going to know if your heart is alive with what? We are saying your heart has to be alive for what? With the zikr of Allah. With the remembrance of Allah. Because in these days, the hearts they are alive for everything else. When it comes to the zikr and the sohbat, the hearts are shut off, you're dead. You're dead. People feel very bored. Or you're saying, I've heard this before. You've also heard the name Allah before. Why do we have to repeat it over and over and over and over again? Give you something that you've heard before. Because you are hearing with these ears. You're not hearing with these ears. Because you're making zikr with the tongue. You're not making zikr with the heart. You know when you have a passion for something, you cannot even go to sleep. You know when you have a passion for something, you cannot even eat. Whether it is love or it is hate, correct? You wake up with that passion too. We having that kind of passion for zikr? Definitely not. Why is that? Prophet is saying, for the sake of Allah, cry, cry. If you cannot cry, he's saying, make yourself to cry. Now we're not saying you're going to like all those foolish people, oh, you're crying, crying, crying. No, not like that. It's meaning, check yourself. Why your heart is not moving with the name of Allah? Oh, because today I ate too much. Yes. Because today I did not prepare myself. Because my heart is busy with other things. In the presence of Allah, when I'm calling Him, my heart is busy with something else because I've been busy with that for the whole week. Everything is preparation for something. We are here in the dergah to prepare ourselves for divine presence. This is preparation. How are we preparing for the zikr of Allah? 
Yes, we've heard billion times. Come with an empty cup. Come with an empty cup. What does that mean to you? When you put it in one ear and out in another, and you don't put meaning in those words, then even the words of Allah will not have any meaning for you. But when you put meaning in that, that the words of Allah, it has no beginning, it has no end. When you put meaning in that and you're running to find the meaning for that, then you understand the meaning is, is an endless ocean. We're doing zikr every day. Or we're doing zikr with a tongue. Or we're doing zikr just by playing with the hands. Are we taking time to understand? Are we taking time to remember? Are we taking time to thank our Lord? Are we taking time to understand what it is that is stopping us from remembering our Lord? Are we in tafakkur? Are we meditating? Are we checking ourselves? You check yourself and you're saying, I wasn't good last week because last week my heart wasn't moving. This week I must try to do something. The believer must think that way. The believer, when it comes to belief, he is going to put passion. When it comes to the dunya, he's just going to like this or like that. It's okay. He will not put passion into the dunya. The one who does not have belief, he puts passion in this dunya. But when it comes to religion, to spirituality, ah, as Allah likes, like this and like that. Who is doing this? Which prophet? Our prophet, wasalam, Or did he fight every single day of his life to keep that faith and to show us how to keep that faith? Every single day was a struggle for him. Every moment he was showing the way of Allah. So, how much of that struggle we're facing every day? We know, if you struggle with that, then when it comes to a night like this, your spirit will be free because your spirit is struggling against your ego. In a night like this, Thursday night, you'll look forward to it, you'll be free, free in the zikr. Free, nothing is going to bother you so much. You're going to be free in the remembrance of Allah. That time your heart will beat with the name of Allah. That time you'll run to Him. That time everything else is going to melt away. That time you say, you are the only one, you are the only reality. Everything else is not real. I'm not real. My loves for these in this world is not real. My hate is not real. My problems, they're not real. Nothing is real. Only you are real. I'm running to you. Because, like I said, the reality is, if Azrael takes our life right now, all these things that we're worrying about, it is not real. It will not matter to us. What is going to matter to us when Azrael comes? Our faith. Our faith, our rights to our Lord, and our rights that were fulfilled to the people that we've taken. You understand? Your loves and your hates and your passions of this, nothing is going to matter so much. The one Azrael comes. is going to say, oh my nafs, oh my nafs, you have fooled me. Wait, let me just give me just one more chance to say Allah, this time with sincerity. Nope, no chance for you. Yet your whole life, you had 24 hours, you have thousands of breaths a day, and in your mind and in your heart, it is limitless. There is no time and there is no space. You didn't remember Allah and now you suddenly you want to remember Allah. So the man who is not busy with tafakkur, to think, to understand, how is going to remember Allah now in the zikr? Because in the zikr then he's just going to see this. The hard floor, the 50 people around him, the voices, whether it's hot or it's cold, whether who's making noise, who's not, he's going to be busy with that. Because that's what we've been busy with the whole week. 
just what is concerning us outside. But if you're busy with trying to find an answer, I have this question. I have this tightness in my heart and I'm looking for an answer. I cannot find it. That time, even if you cannot find the answer in the zikr, you're going to run to Allah. You're going to say, all this doesn't matter. You matter, Ya Rabbi. Just like on the day of Arafah, when you leave everything, you leave your family, you leave all your possessions, you're wearing the ihram, and you're there in the plains of Arafah, just to be with Allah. So your heart, you're going to train it. This is why we're here, we're training it. We're not just, oh, it's okay, you know. Sufism is not hippie Islam, please. It's not being hippie. Hippie is kafir. Hippie is completely uh, ego. That in reality, they are saying the hippie coming out from this, from, you know, uh, 70s when they're mixing up Hinduism and this. Uh, Please, don't even make the Hindus to laugh at you. Because it is not even in their religion like that, that everyone can just be selfish and running for the ego. No, it is not. More you come close to Allah and His Prophet, والسلام, more you understand what a prison this is. Especially in this Ahir Zaman, more you understand the prison, more you understand how the enemies of the spirit and the enemies of Allah, they've taken over the system of this whole world. How can you be happy? You will not be happy. You will not drown yourself. You will pull back from the world. Because you say, if I get myself involved in the world like this or like that, the fire is going to touch me. So that reality of Azrael coming to visit you, to take your life, and what is going to be real to you, your nafs is going to be very real to you. You realize that your nafs has fooled you. You realize now. Why are we going to realize it in the last seven breaths? Why are we going to realize it when Azrael is there? Why are we not realizing it now? Is it a mystery? It is not. 124,000 prophets, they came to bring the same message. Holy Prophet ﷺ came to bring the same message. Every awliya Allah that came, that is going to come until judgment, they're going to speak about the same message. Holy Prophet ﷺ, when he's going to pass from this world, he said, Ummati, Ummati. He's worrying for us. Oh, definitely we're not going to say Allah or Prophet when we pass. We were going to say, Oh my nafs, oh my nafs. Maybe we should practice that a little bit. Maybe we should practice that before we go to sleep. We're going to say, Oh my nafs, oh my nafs. How you have fooled me today. Then you're going to say, my nafs has fooled me because I wasted my time like this. My nafs has fooled me because I speak these wrong words. My nafs has fooled me because my adab, I was not taking care of it. My nafs has fooled me because somebody else said, and I followed, and I, it became. You're going to start thinking, how your nafs? Yes. That is called tafakkur. I'm not telling you anything new. You're doing that, then you realize, oh, every day is fooling me. At least now, in the zikr circle, I'm going to run to Allah. I'm not going to let it to fool me. It's coming, I'm just going to run to Allah. It's coming over here, I'm going to run. It's going here, I'm just going to run to Allah. In that time, the zikr matters to you. It matters, because the zikr at that time, it is a circle of safety. 
for your faith. Once you collect that kind of safety, it will bring you into the other days. You understand? Once you understand what is your, how your nafs is tricking you, you're fighting against it, you're remembering that the mercy of Allah that is reaching to you. And at that time, maybe you're going to feel the taste of a zikr, your passion, because your life depends on it. Your faith depends on it. We are very spoiled anyway. We're getting zikr every week. But you know, you eat three times a day, five times a day, some people. Nah, this one's sleeping. Five times a day he's eating. But he knows, everybody knows. I eat five times a day, seven days a week. That means 35 times. You know you want to eat different every time. Correct? Not in one day you eat three meals, you're going to eat the same thing. Breakfast you want to eat different. Lunch is different. Dinner is different. And every day, today's dinner must be different from yesterday's dinner. You think about it. You plan about it. Why is our worship the same? Why do we feel the same? Why do we make it to be the same? Our zikr. Why is it the same? Understand? What is it that you're looking for? What is the taste that you're looking for? That's how you plan to eat, right? You say, I plan to eat this because I like this taste. I want that taste. So what kind of taste do you want from the zikr? Or you just come in just like that? Then it'll be tasteless. Or, is, or you're sitting down, you spoil it. say, well, I'm waiting to see what kind of taste is coming to me. Then you're spoiled. You're not looking for something. If you don't look, you will never find. What are you looking for? You understand? Whether you're escaping from or you're looking for something, an answer, you have to look for it. It will be there for the zikr. It's going to be there in the sohbah, definitely. May Allah forgive me and bless you. Al-Fatiha. <laughs>